Good afternoon. We've met for another interesting episode of your favorite oral health corner. Today we'll be delving deep into another, a very important subject area. You often meet people who ask you, which toothpaste should I go for? Toothpaste A or toothpaste B? Now I'll be answering that question today. From our uh, the oral health point of view, we will say go for a fluoridated toothpaste. That's toothpaste that contains fluoride. Now the question is why? The reason is that the tooth structures are a little bit weaker and then they are unable to resist acidic attack. They are just like mortar. When you use the fluoridated toothpaste, it changes the structure of the teeth from that mortar stage to a concrete stage. So I'm making them to mortar and concrete. Now, the structure of the teeth, the inorganic part, we call it the hydrosy apatite. When you use the fluoridated toothpaste, it changes it from hydrosy apatite to fluoro apatite, which is stronger and able to resist acidic attack. Now, so if you buy the toothpaste, just look at it, let, make sure that fluoride is written on it. The recommended fluoride for adult is 1000 ppm and above. So normally if you go, that ppm means part per million. So if you buy the average on the market, you see 1450 ppm, which is good for your teeth. Then for children, it should be below 1,000 uh, ppm. Now that one, usually you see 525 ppm on the children's toothpaste. That is also good for them. It is able to harden the teeth and then resist it from acidic attack. So anytime uh, the microorganism produce acid, they will not be able to create that cavity in your teeth. Now it comes in various forms of the toothpaste. Either you will see standard fluoride, sodium monofluoro, phosphate or sodium fluoride. If you see any of these, it represents uh, the fluoride. The fluoride even is able to kill microorganisms. In its anionic form, it will kill microorganisms and then they will not be able to produce the acid. In fact, it's also able to interfere with the enzyme of the microorganism that converts sugar into uh, acid the fermentation process. So we realize that the fluoride is very, very, very important and it is good for your teeth. And anytime you are buying toothpaste, make sure it contains fluoride. Ideally, it should be in our soil, in our water, but we don't have much and we have to supplement it through the toothpaste. Thank you so much for your rapt attention. Now you know the toothpaste to buy. It is not the brand name or whatever, but it is what it contains, which is the fluoride. Thank you so much.